Getting lost in big data sets? Struggling to extract and present relevant data in a convenient way? With pivot tables, you can organize large sets of data in a summary that highlights only the most important figures. You need source data in the form of a table with column headers. Make sure your source table doesn't include any empty cells. Now select any cell in your source table. Go to Pivot Table tab and click Insert Table. A window will appear, letting you adjust the future pivot table. If the automatically selected data range is not what you need, click Data Range and choose the desired area of the source table. You can place the pivot table on a current worksheet or create a new one for it. If you choose Current Worksheet, you will need to specify the cell to build your table at. Now let's create the table on a new worksheet. Once the table is created, it will first appear blank. You now need to fill in all the needed data. Go to the settings on your right. Here you will see data fields corresponding to your source table's columns. Below are the table sections, fillers, rows, columns, and values. Check the fields you need to show in your table. You can add each field to several sections depending on what data you need to show and how. To add a field to the section you need, just drag and drop the field to the necessary section. Once the fields are added to the desired sections, you can move them within the section and between the sections, remove them, and adjust the field settings. In the field layout settings, you can change how the fields are named and presented among other fields. Use the subtotal section of the field settings to choose functions for subtotals in your table. You can change the way your table is displayed using the tools in the Pivot Table tab. To activate these tools, just click on any cell within the table. To change the layout of the table, click Report Layout and choose. Show in compact form to give your table a compact fit within one column. Show in outline form to display it in classic pivot table style with field headers and subtotals. Show in tabular form to make it a traditional table with separate columns and all headers displayed. You can choose to repeat all item labels to group rows and columns together or hide item labels if you have multiple fields in the tabular form. Table settings on the menu bar also allow showing and hiding blank rows, subtotals, and grand totals with the corresponding commands. To change colors of your pivot table, go to the Style menu on the top toolbar. Here, you can choose one of the existing color presets to change color scheme. If you wish to emphasize row or column headers or band rows or columns in your table, use the corresponding checkboxes. You can filter and sort data in your pivot table in the same way you do in casual worksheets, using the sub-menu of a row or a column. Learn how to sort and filter data in the dedicated tutorial. You can also apply advanced settings to your pivot table to change its layout, source, and metadata. The Advanced Settings menu is located in the bottom of the right sidebar. New to OnlyOffice? Try it for free to use pivot tables and other professional features for your spreadsheets. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep learning more about OnlyOffice features.